Now with the topsail yard and jack yard constructed, topsail bent on, bag made, the only thing left to do is to fly it. Kind of go about two thirds of the way. Okay, well, I haven't done this in a while, so this is pretty much all by guess or by God. Uh, so I'm saying. So I have not yet recalled that it's generally much easier to set the tops on the lee side than on the weather side. Alright, got one more thing to clear up this cluster f Okay, so I need to tie the sheet on a little further outboard on the jack yard. Basically by that last hitch on the jack yard. And I can continue to tighten up that spiral lacing a bit on the yard. But uh, it doesn't matter now, we're going downwind, so it's just, it's just pushing us. All right, so this time let's raise it on the lee side. And it should just go up and pop into place. In theory. Jesus, three hours later. Let's see, it's Thursday, the 27th of June, uh, 2024, and uh, I'm working my way southbound down the bay. Uh, launched from Long Cove on Monday and made it to uh, the Road River, and, uh, and then just hung there while uh, we had a couple days of settlers, and last night we had some pretty wild thunderstorms. Um, Trying to make it all the way to Deldaville by tomorrow. Well, Deldaville is about 60 miles from where we're at right now. So, uh, yeah. And uh, because I got delayed with my haul out and all, all that, uh, all that run around, you know, going to Young's and then that didn't work out and I'm trying to find a yard and then uh, Long Cove took about 10 days before they finally hauled me out. But uh, so that all amounted to well over a month of uh, month of delays, probably close to five weeks. Um, so that's where I'm kind of pushing hard to get south down the bay because uh, I want to get back up to Nova Scotia this summer. I just saw a dolphin leap out of the water here. Don't suppose. I'll keep the camera on for a little bit just in case. Ah, uh, dolphins leaping. The sea the sparkling, the the warm breezes blowing. We're putting down the miles down toward the south end of the bay where we'll take a left turn toward New England and then on to Nova Scotia. Feels good to have all the work done. The boat is all in order. Everything all set to go. And the wide ocean now beckons us forth. Uh, ah. Ah, just got struck by lightning. Ah!
Gonna disconnect the battery just in case. And disconnect the solar. It blew the EPIRB right off. Jesus Christ. We've tried to ground, tried to ground through the nav lights. Cause look at that, just, just completely fried that. I discovered my anchor light is also fried. So and this is not an anchor light, this is a stern light, but at least it's better than nothing. Okay, I'll turn that flame down a little there. So it'll, that flame will build a bit. You gotta watch it. All right. The idea is maybe it'll swing around. It's better than nothing, unless you got something to put on light. Of course, I could write the side lights too. So here it is. There's where it arced through. Luckily, I did a pretty clean job of it. That won't be too hard to... Uh... All right, we gotta go right, just right to, to leeward of where the headsail is, behind that power belt. That's where the lift slip is. So I'm gonna use the headsail. Stay, so it'll just get us a little forward momentum here. I've made arrangements with Zimmerman Marine in Fishing Bay to uh, do a short haul and inspect for damage below the waterline. So probably she's going to go forward and then the bow's going to come in. Consider supporting this channel by becoming a patron. As a patron, you will be able to view my videos free of ads. You will also be able to leave comments, ask questions, and message me directly. You can become a patron for as little as $5 a month.